Ever wondered what the largest objects in the universe are? It's probably your node underscore modules. So there is probably going to be a hard disk where you are going to be writing most of your code. In my case, I write most of my code in the repos folder in my built-in Mac drive. Now if I wanted to clean up the node underscore modules that are clogging up my disk, I could do a search and then select the ones that I no longer need, but there has to be a better way. I could even run this special command within my bash terminal to find all the node underscore modules and measure their size. But this still leaves the question of how do I delete the ones that I want gone. Fortunately, there is a third alternative. I can open up the folder that contains all my repos and run this command called npx npkill. What this is going to do is first install the npkill package from npm and then execute it. It's going to search for all the node underscore modules that exist within the current folder and then list them out by their path and their size. I can scroll through the list by using my cursor keys and if there is anything that I no longer need, I simply press the spacebar and it's gone, it's deleted from my disk. For example, I no longer need the node underscore modules for my Cypress lessons or for the tic-tac-toe example that I did for YouTube. And I can continue to scroll through the list and delete anything that I feel like I no longer need or I think is a bit too big. I mean, react drag and drop, why do you need 500 megs of node underscore modules for a dev setup? Anyways, when you are done with the process, you can press the escape key and you will be thrown back into the terminal and you can see how much space you have managed to free. In my case, I managed to save 1.6 gigs while recording this lesson, which is not a big number, but it will definitely help if you are running out of disk space. If you enjoyed this lesson, smash that like and leave a comment on how much you've saved. Subscribe for more content like this and I will see you in the next one.